So as human beings, we always get addicted to something at a given time. And it probably could be an application or a website we frequently use, even if we are supposed to do our work or probably maybe an assignment we have to just complete. So there's an application called Blockside, which is actually going to assist you to just prevent you from just using some applications whilst you really want to focus and also get your assignments or job done before you probably get on the application. So there's how the app's interface looks like and it has block list, focus mode and then insight right here. So in case you want to just block an application or a website, there is what you need to do. You tap on this section right here and then you're going to see the suggestions of applications that are on your phone right here. They are going to pop up around here. But if maybe it's not an application you want to block or it's a website, you can scroll through right here, which is a website suggestion. And then you tap on the plus sign right here and it's just going to block the website for you. So let's try something out. So I don't want to go to Facebook and then YouTube. So I tap on this like this and I tap on this one and probably let's say Instagram and I tap on done right here and then I click on done and then I scroll up right here and I want to go to Facebook, Instagram, and then YouTube. So first of all, let me tap on Facebook and we are going to see the notification we are going to get right here. So you can see, forgot about it, meaning the app is working right here. This app is blocked by block site and it's preventing us from just visiting this application. And then it's actually going to help us get done with whatever we are doing right here. So you can see this one right here too is also telling us that this app is being blocked. That is Instagram is being blocked by block sites. The last one we did was on YouTube. And then I tap on YouTube like this and you're going to see that YouTube is actually not going to open. It's still going to be blocked by block sites. So this application is one of the kind you probably would like and will make you just get focused on whatever you're doing. And I think it's one of the greatest apps you probably should try out on your Android device. So let's say for instance, you want to block a website. So this is how it looks like. And we're going to block Amazon right here. So I don't have the Amazon app on my phone yet. And let's say we tap on eBay and then we click on done. So we can use any browser and this app is still not going to allow us. So I'm just going to go to amazon.com right here. Let me just tap on amazon.com. You can see right here and I'm going to click on the search bar and it's still not going to allow me to just go to Amazon because I blocked it. So it doesn't work just basically for only apps, but it does for websites too and it just gives you some funny comments right here which is actually just gonna make you go back to whatever you are doing so i think this app is one app you probably should try it out so let's stick around and let's check out the next app hello there this is Derek and welcome back to the channel so today's video is to enlighten you about some new apps you can try on your devices which is actually gonna help you so the next app is called notica with notica it allows you to just get your notifications always pinned at the top of your notification bar which doesn't make you forget about anything so you will be scrolling through some applications like Instagram and then YouTube and you might see a video which you really want to just watch probably later when you are free or something. With this app, it's actually going to allow you to just get your notification or whatever website you want to visit pinned up right here, which is going to make you go back to the video or article you probably want to just read at your leisure anytime. So. This is how it works. You go to the website. Let's say we use YouTube. You go to YouTube and you have a video you feel like you want to watch later in the day. And then you go to the channel or whatever video you feel like you want to watch. And what you need to do is you click on this three dots right here and then you go to the share button. And then when you go to the share button, you scroll through till you see Nautica. So when you see Nautica, you tap on Nautica like this. And this is what you are going to see. So we have regular, pinned and then scheduled. So with the pinned and scheduled, it's actually supposed to come with the paid version and there is a free version so you are entitled to just do the regular which is going to make you just have the notification right here so what you do is you swipe up like this and it has in ads and it's going to pin whatever you have at the top side right? so when i go to the application you're going to see that i have my youtube video right here and anytime i scroll down like this i'm just going to have it right here so i can close this application and this notification is actually going to be here so with a paid plan you're actually going to be able to just pin this video right here which even when you swipe to the left or right you're not going to get it away but with this when you swipe right or left it's just going to move away so this is actually going to stay there for a long time and you can do whatever you want to do and 
you are just going to be able to just tap on your video like this and then you're going to go to youtube channel and then watch whatever video you feel like you want to watch so that is one of the coolest apps too i think i like and it doesn't just work for youtube alone you can go to instagram and then deal with any video or any picture you feel like you want to watch later and what you have to do is you just click on the share button like i told you initially so you click on this section right here and then you click on this share button and you still scroll through to see if you're going to see notica and when you see notica you just tap on it like this and when you tap on notica it's going to give you this pop-up page and then you swipe up and when you swipe up there is an in ad which is actually embedded in this app and it's worth it because you're going to get a lot of cool stuff right here so when you go to the app right here and then you just check out you're going to see that you have two notifications right here you can scroll down like this and you're going to see it and when you tap on it it's just going to take you to the instagram page of the notification you actually pinned right here so i think that is one of the coolest apps i've also found and i think it's very helpful if you guys can try it out so with android actually bringing us a new material use system which is also bringing more dynamic colors to our phones i think it's a very cool idea if you get an application which is actually going to give you the chance to get wallpapers on your device so this app right here is called wall spy so with wall spy it actually gives you some cool great wallpapers which is going to make your phone very very nice so when you check out my wallpaper right here i actually got it from wall spy and that is basically very cool so you can scroll through some categories you have right here we have popular we have featured we have random and then more and more and more you feel like you want and you can tap right here and then check the phone you're actually using and then pick other color gradients to you feel like you want and that is basically very cool so you want to check out right here you can see that this app has very very great wallpapers which is going to make your dynamic colors pop out very very well so you can check out wall spy which is actually one of the greatest app i'm going to recommend to you guys next is the barcode so with this app i think is one of the apps i actually got freaked out when i installed it so with this barcode you are entitled to create a barcode for yourself and then just create anything you feel like you want to create so with this what i did was i created a link format barcode which was overwhelming when i actually got it done because i embedded my youtube channel link in this barcode and then i was able to just share it to people and people can just scan it and then just make them subscribe to my channel so isn't this very great it is right so you can just do this to anything or not links alone you are entitled to just do this to wi-fi passwords and then even locations emails phone contacts phone numbers messages contacts and even an event so i'm going to do one scenario for you guys which is going to be the url thing so you can see right here i have the url right here which i'm supposed to put in the website i want right here and also this is supposed to be the title so i'm going to go to my youtube channel and then i'm just going to pick on my channel link and then i'm going to drop it right there for you guys to just see how this works so i tap on the share button and then get my link right here and then i go to this and then tap on this section and then put in my channel link right here and i'm going to put it right here my channel name Derek tech hub and then after i'm done i'm going to click on create you can choose to pick on any colors you feel like you want provided how you want your barcode to look you can just pick on any colors you feel like you want but i'm using the default one right here and then i tap on create and it's going to create the barcode for me like this so you can see right here that this is the barcode and what i'm going to do is i'm going to screenshot this like this and then i edit it and i'm going to scan it with my google lens app and then after I'm, I'm done scanning with my Google Lens app, you guys are going to see. So I tap on Google Lens like this and I tap on this section and it's going to scan it like this. So you can see that YouTube has pop up right here. When I tap on it like this, it's just going to take me to my YouTube channel right away. And that is basically very cool. So you can see that's taking me to my YouTube channel, which is very, very great. You can just try this out with anything, any website you feel like you want. You can use this barcode app to do anything you feel like you want. So I think there's an application you guys need to try it out too. So the next app I want to share with you is Electron. So with the Electron app, it allows you to know the state in which your battery is and also the real capacity of your battery and whether your battery is charging or not charging and then if it's plugged and even the level of your battery percent right here. It also shows you the temperature and then the type of your phone battery. When you swipe to the left like this, you can see that the voltage of your battery too is right here and then the battery milliampers that is left at the moment and also when you check out right here you can see other currents and all right here which is very very cool the main deal i want to share with you is the spark right here this first section allows you to see a lot of great stuff you feel like you want to know sometimes you can never tell whether your battery is in a good state or not so with this app it's going to allow you to know 
the state of your battery and if it's supposed to be replaced too it will be stated right here that probably the battery is bad and you would have to replace it so this app is one of the apps you actually should install and make it run on your phone and see if your battery is in a good state or not so the next thing i'm going to share with you is the new update which is being rolled out to google message users so if you check out right here you can see that google messages now picks up the material you theme in which brings out a lot of cool dynamic colors like we want and when you check out my volume button right here you can see that color right here and with my notification shade and even my wallpaper the google messages actually picks up the dynamic colors of my wallpaper when you check out right here and this is one of the things we actually needed or we've been waiting for for a long time it shows us how android 12 is actually very close to us so if there's your first time hearing of android 12 i'm going to leave a video in my description or you can check out this video right here which is really going to show you more features about android 12 and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'm going to catch you in the next video peace